We've got 1,400 yachts this year starting, and they'll always go off to the west. There's 11 starts, takes us an hour and 50 minutes to start everybody. They all trundle down to the Needles, turn left round the back of the island, up to Bembridge, round Bembridge Ledge, and back through the floats to Cas. Rear Commodore Sailing for Organisers Island Sailing Club is Dave Atkinson, and Dave's been involved with the race for as many years as he can remember. I've done 36 years, and I've actually done 36 different races. There's always different challenges. You know, we've got weather, we've got tide. Just trying to get a, a consensus of what time of the day we're going to start. The ultimate prize is the Gold Roman Bowl. That could go to anyone. Well, the current holder is Gladiator. You know, I'm afraid some people think that sailing is a bit of an elitist sport, but it, it really isn't, and it's open for absolutely everybody. Some of these yachts are quite ordinary yachts and not that expensive, but they can still have a go in the race. The well, Commodore of Race Organisers Island Sailing Club is Mark Winter. There's no race uh, in Northern Europe that, that gets as many entrants as this, and it's been going since 1931, and it just attracts people and just engages with their... Uh, imagination more than anything else and it's just a great day out and people feel very pleased with themselves and that's what sport's all about isn't it sense of achievement as well coming across the, the finish line absolutely enormous sense of achievement people are cheering and waving and they're just so pleased that you know it, it's something they've done they've been right round the isle of wight they've done the 55 miles and they've achieved something and they can go home and think i did that at just 46 feet long team maverick are hoping their unique yachts will capture the imagination and camera lenses so my name's case uh, i've been with the program since the very beginning since the boat was built and what's so special about maverick this is a foil assisted mono hull so this is not yet anyway a fully foiling flying mono hull uh, this is foil assisted so we we get some of the benefits uh, that the America's Cup boats do as well, but to a lesser degree. Well, the official charity for the race is the Ellen MacArthur Cancer Trust. Frank Fletcher is the CEO of the Trust. So we've been involved with Round the Island Race for 12 years. We're incredibly proud of the association. Uh, we love this weekend. Uh, so we've got 24 young people on four boats taking part in the race. Well, obviously the race is the main event for the weekend, but you have a parallel event as well. We've got over 100 cyclists who will be cycling around the island at the same time as those uh, young people are sailing around and they've raised just over £23,000 for the Trust, which is an amazing figure and will allow us to work with 46 more young people. It's a race that's a firm favourite amongst the world's biggest sailing names. Sir Robin Knox Johnston told me that although he's disappointed not to be taking part this year, he has fond memories of the camaraderie on the course. You know, I remember that very well. There must have been over, what, 150 boats? You could have walked across 100 yards of ocean from boat to boat. Yeah, the atmosphere was great, wasn't it? No one getting overexcited, everyone's sort of joking and laughing and being sensible about it. I thought, excellent example of good seamanship. And it's that social element that brings people back time and time again. Adventurer Ben Fogel. Around the island race I've, I've only done once before, probably about a decade ago and it was very much a, a social race. I think it took us about 16 hours but I have very fond memories of it and, uh, and I'm, I'm super excited about having another stab at this in a slightly faster boat. So I'm going to be on a boat called um, Bob by Cloudy Bay, which is a, a far 52, and I've just been on her. She's stripped out for racing, so I don't think I'm going to be loitering around or sunbathing, whatever the weather. I think we're going to be working pretty hard, and I think we might be back in time for.